Behind me here is what I'm calling the cucumber condo. It is my test for growing parthenocarpic cucumbers under mesh to keep away things like pickle worms. But before I can do that, I need to control another pest. You see, the funny thing about having this mesh, and it's been fully enclosed until now, is that every time I would come out here, there would be these big brown bugs in the edge. In fact, there's still one more right here. That right there is a June bug here in Florida. And so while the June bug itself doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it mates, burrows down into the soil like it's doing here to lay its eggs. And that's where we get the grubs that you're accustomed to seeing. Now I saw one on the surface here a minute ago, but I think it's already buried its way back in. But that's okay, because today we have the solution. Those grubs are getting an eviction notice. Let's go over to the other side of the garden and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We are going to use beneficial nematodes. We got these from Arbico Organics based on a video we saw from Jacques in the garden. And we chose the three pack, one that allows and waits for passing pets, such as fleas or cutworms, flies, termites. This one waits for passing pets, such as cabbage maggot, humpback flies, onion maggots, pillworm, crown, raspberry crown borer, and more. And then here are sedentary pests like queen ants, asparagus beetles, moths, grubs, and more. And so we're going to mix all of these together and treat the cucumber condo and probably a few other beds because I have enough here to treat about 1,600 square feet. Now, the instructions say to start with eight ounces of water, mix in the nematodes, and let them sit for about 20 minutes. The nematodes are a live organism. And so I had, the, I had these delivered, they came in last week and they've been in the fridge, but they said you can't keep them for more than two weeks. And so we'll get all these in here. And they also said, once you open them, you have to use it all up. You can't preserve it or save it for another time. I happen to be using well water here. If I didn't have well water, I would be using my rain water, though they don't mention it anywhere that I could easily see on the site. They just said fill with water. I assume chlorinated water is okay since they don't say otherwise, but it just feels like to me uh, not putting chlorine on a living organism seems like the way to go. I'm going to set myself a timer for 20 minutes and go ahead and finish prepping the first bed. Now it's said to go ahead and give your bed a nice watering in. I've already had the drip irrigation on this this morning, but I'm going to go ahead and give it another nice little soaking to get ready for the beneficial nematodes. And since I'll have more than enough, I'm actually going to spray my cucumber plants as well. Maybe that will help with some of the pickle worm pressure we're having right now. For the application, we're going to use a hose end sprayer. I did not order one from them. I found one in the garden shed. But the thing they said to make sure is that you don't have a filter on the end. Following the instructions that they have on their website, I am setting this to four ounces. I'm going to split those nematodes up into two different doses. So I'll do the north side and then the south side of the garden. And just for funsies, today is June 1st, and I think it's kind of funny that today is the day <laughs> I'm evicting the June bug grub. This has been the longest 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, we'll dismiss you. And so I'm gonna give that a good stir one more time. And something they said is to continue agitating it so you don't, so it stays mixed up as you're applying it. And so I am just following the instructions that they had right at the website where I made this purchase and so we're going to put about half 
and I am going to finish filling this to the 32 ounce line. And the idea is that you're giving a good watering in. There are 5 million, actually in my case, because it's all three kinds, 15 million beneficial nematodes in here. And we're going to spread them around. It's important for me to share that while I am going to spray this on existing vegetation like my cucumbers and my tomatoes or into this soil, I will not be spraying this in the back where I have um, feeder plants for the different butterfly pollinators like the milkweed or the ironweed or the dill if I have some of that, but all of those kind of plants, I am not going to spray because I do not want the nematodes, if they actually attack them, to affect my butterfly population because they aren't eating my food like some of the grubs and the pickle worm moth. I don't know if they actually would affect them. I'm just not gonna take that chance. I am using well water for this, but if I did not have well water, this application could be done just with a regular watering can. And so you could mix this up and pour it into your garden beds and on your plants with a watering can using rainwater. And again, they don't talk about chlorinated water, but it's just my gut feeling that these little microbes will survive better not being chlorinated. And so, got to give it a pull and spray it out. I can see why it's a lot easier doing it with the hose in sprayer. All right, let's move on to some of the other beds. I'm going to give it another little shake here. Beneficial nematodes on their website says are not harmful to humans or pets. So that is reassuring. Oh, oh, I spy. I spy with my little eye. I spy with my little eye. A hornworm that is eating his fill on my tomato plants. Because look how big he is. And look how they just blend in. Let's take a quick time out and go feed this one to the fish. I don't know if you can see the fish are ready. They're ready for a little snack. And so, this is the snack they're going to get. And just like that, the circle of life. I must admit, <laughs> that is pretty satisfying. So, when I have the smaller army worms, sometimes I'll come down and do that. And then sometimes I just feed them to the patio lizards, so there's that too. And since it also works on fleas, I'm going to spray the area right around the patio where the cats like to come and roll in the grass. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of flea relief for the outdoor kitties. All right, this side's done. Let's head south. Go ahead and put the rest of the nematodes in there. Because we are growing quite a bit of squash over here, I'm kind of excited to see if this will uh, help with any squash vine borers. Now, I also know that my cats like to sleep back behind this bed. And so since I've got something for fleas in here, I'm going to go ahead and spray back there too in their little hiding spots. And now that that eviction notice has been served, it'll be about seven to 10 days for it to be effective. Meantime, I can start up those cucumber seeds and get ready for fall cucumber planting here in Northeast 
Florida. If you want to see more about the Cucumber Condo, be sure to check out this playlist right over here. And until next time, my friends, remember to drink plenty of water, wear that high quality sunscreen, and as always have a fantastic day.